as you have already gone through the assignments and those assignments were related to the grammar section that is the language section today i am going to do and start with our literature section now in standard 6 we are having two books first one is the main reader book which is the hani sir and today we are going to start a chapter from this book only and the name of the chapter is who did patrick's homework now in this name itself you can see that name of a boy patrick came and the name of the chapter itself is asking a question who did patrick's homework now before entering the chapter let us discuss that all of you get homework to do at your home many of you don't like to do it many of you enjoy doing it so let's see what patrick felt about the homework and who used to do that homework <coughs> first of all i'm reading the paragraph and then we will start with the description patrick never did homework too boring he said he played hockey and basketball and nintendo instead so here it is being clarified that patrick never used to do any homework because he used to love to play different games and those games are the hockey basketball and nintendo here the word nintendo is a new word for him which means a video game so basically he used to spend his lot of time in playing basketball hockey and the video game game nintendo his teacher told him patrick do your homework or you won't learn the hockey now here is very important to understand why his teachers used to say that if he would not do the homework then he would not learn anything now students here it is uh, needed to understand why the homeworks are being given now whenever we discuss a topic or a chapter in a class we give you some homework so why this homework is given this homework is given is because if you have understood the chapter then you will do it while recalling your memory what you have understood in your class and then you can answer the things but not only it's for your um, recalling but uh, the teachers will also understand that you know, the topic is being understood by the students or not so the teacher of patrick used to say that if you will not do the homework then you will not learn a thing and it's true sometimes he did feel like an ignorance here again a new word is coming ignorance which means and ignorant Now 
moving forward to the next then one day he found his cat playing a little doll and he grabbed it away so patrick had a cat and one day when he was wandering here and there he saw that his cat was playing with a little doll now in our homes also if we are having a pet and if we see that they are playing with a small doll or any game we immediately think that they will destroy it so patty was thought what he is doing with this doll maybe he will destroy it so patty just went there and grabbed it away grabbed means here grabbed it is the past tense of grab which means to snatch means he just went and just took away the doll to his surprise it wasn't a doll at all but when he grabbed it away he found that it is not a doll because patrick was thinking that the cat was playing with the doll but it wasn't but a man of the tiniest size i think you all know tiny means very small so he saw that the doll he was supposing that it was a doll with the which the cat was playing it wasn't a doll but it was a tiniest man he had a little wool shirt with old fashioned breeches and a high tall much like a witch is now here again we are having few different words or new words for you which are
was he acted doing homework so when he came to his mind that i can ask for the help of the tiny man then he thought he can help me out in doing my homework so he said only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester that's 35 days now patrick is asking the the tiny man that uh, if the tiny man would help him how in doing his homework and that too for the period of 35 days why 35 days because after those 35 days there was a examination so patrick said that if you will help me out in doing my homework then only i will save you from the tiny man if you do a good even job i could even uh, get a's and patrick is also saying that if you will help me out and not only just help me out if you will help me out in a proper way then uh, i must get a's a's here means that grade of a so patrick is also giving him a condition that if he would help him to do the homework then only he will save means patrick will save the man from the cat a little man's face wrinkled like a his claw thrown in a hamper now here wrinkled as you all know the old man have small old man usually have small lines on their face so here wrinkled
and do it then only practical sale so students today we have discussed the first two pages of the chapter 1 now in this uh, discussion i have written so many words also which are the new words for you so you can write these new words in your notebook 